I'm really, really excited to be involved uh, in Cruella. It's it's a really cool project, and I remember watching the cartoon as a kid and feel like being very. Uh, I don't know, I think very intrigued by the idea of this this kind of like woman, sl this slightly manic woman on the edge. And I think just the way she looked was always so fun. So the fact that a live action movie has been made and I can be part of it is really, really cool. We first meet Anita at one of the Baroness's balls. And um, she's a reporter. She's a sort of young up and comer. She's very ambitious. Um, she's also pretty smart and she she kind of falls in between these the, the the two ladies you know you've got the baroness who is kind of really calculated and really i mean they're all i think what's lovely is that all the women are very intelligent in this but she's very you know she's kind of like i guess the baddie and then you have estella who also kind of has this slightly dark side and i think anita falls right in between where she kind of understands them both but isn't the same as either of them I think what's brilliant about it is that you think you know the Cruella de Vil story because we've had a couple of movies and we had the, the I think it was 1961, the original. Um, so I think people's idea of Cruella is that she is this sort of really mean, unhinged woman and she treats animals poorly and things like that. But I think what they're going to get from this that they maybe didn't expect was seeing how she came to be and seeing like the human side of her. I think this... The movie is really good at showing like a fully fleshed out human being rather than just somewhat a caricature that we've seen in, in, in previous iterations.